so refreshingly cool this morning. What a blessing. It's so beautiful. You can hear the racket. You can see Briar's right back where he's supposed to be. He was, I didn't know if I was gonna be able to handle him, but as soon as all the girls were bred, he went back to his normal sweet self. So he's been behaving and I've been happy and he's been happy and everybody's been happy. So thank God for that because I didn't really want to rehome him. I just was so worried that it was going to be a regular thing. I still have a crooked chicken. <laughs> I don't know why she's wobbly, but I mean, she's thriving. She just acts like she's drunk. She gets vitamins and stuff, so I, I just don't know. I think she got moldy food. I don't know how long it takes to recover from now but... anyway I thought I'd give you a little update on all the breeding let me feed the peacock all right let me give you the fill in on everybody's due date so um, this is Bree she's due February 19th Then, then, hold on. Then this little Kublanc girl, Blossom, is due February 24th. Then Breeze, the little moon spotted girl, and my Bliss, I'll take you to go see Bliss. Hi guys. So this one is Bliss right here. Her and Breeze, the moon spotted one, are due February 25th. And then Bristol right here is due February 27th. So we are gonna have, I'm not gonna sleep for a week. <laughs> They're gonna all be kidding at the same time. How exciting though. You can see, Briar started spitting yesterday, uh, you know, talking to him through the fence, but he was doing that to BJ anyway. I mean, he seems to be confused about GD, BJ's gender, but <laughs> that's, that's par for the course, huh? Little Breeze and my Bliss, the pulled, the pulled one in the middle right here, they were with Bobby. Let me see if I can show you Bobby. He's my new little buckling. Oh my gosh, is he amazing? Oh, there he is. He is so gorgeous. I am so excited about his kids. Look at how pretty he is. Is he spectacular? Look at him, he's so pretty. Bobby, can we see you? Oh, as usual, he doesn't want my attention. His hair went up. There he is. <laughs> Isn't he pretty? And then I'm hoping against all hope, I believe my old Samson was with um, Bree, the little buckskin girl, first. But she was also with Briar. So we'll see what her kids look like and determine who the father probably was. Um, my gorgeous Briar or my gorgeous Simpson. He's a, he loves me. Oh my gosh. He, after he, the crazy left him, he, you can see he's tearing those horns. I'm telling you, he's got the, the feeder torn to bits. And obviously we used to try to fix it, but now we've determined that the side, the sides just aren't going to be a work, go good here. <laughs> Before we got Briar, we didn't have any horned goats and none of this stuff ever <laughs> happened. So, uh, but my Briar 
the day he decided he wasn't going to be nutso anymore after all the girls stopped driving him crazy he got so loving and affectionate and precious again it was such a relief and then knowing that it only lasted you know two three days makes it more tolerable for me to be able to manage him but you can see how destructive he is you see i mean this isn't new we fixed it several times we've just decided that this time when it comes down we're not going to fix it again we're just going to take the sides off but anyway that's the update this will be her i believe fifth freshen but she had two kiddings in one year a couple years ago because um you know these things happen so um she's only four but this is going to be her fifth kidding and she has had triplets twice a single only her first time and then um, two giant bucks one time so it, it, she's had triplets more than she's had anything else um my bristol this is her second freshen freshen and no third excuse me be her first freshen she had bliss the one that's in the middle the pulled girl then she had twins last year oh they were so gorgeous her amazing girls her twin dolings <laughs> Then, um, Bliss had her, it was her first freshen. This will be her second freshen. And she had the most magnificent little doling <coughs> last season. That was pulled and blue eyed and looked just exactly like her. So it was exciting. I'm going to have to, <laughs> I'm going to have to remove myself from the buck pen because he's acting like I'm his girlfriend. He's trying to spray me, so I, I'm gonna have to get out of here. But you all have a great day. It's exciting for me, exciting news that everybody's bred, the buck is calmed down. It's cooler, thank the Lord. And I did wanna say, I did wanna say, say and remind you remind everybody with all of the world events going on it's hard to stay focused on our positive parts of our life but we've been blessed and so every day remember your blessings these animals that are entrusted to us that we get to enjoy you know your lifestyle everything that we have that is a blessing from God. We aren't in turmoil here quite yet. And just enjoy it while we have it. Y'all have a great day.